All right, so if you saw in my last video, I went and got my bike. Now it's back on my stand. Now is we're, when we're going to start working on it. By we, I mean me and my friend, Chess. Hello. You might remember from the other video uh, with Southern Track Days, he got his own bike recently. Yeah. yeah the is it here? No, I gotta go get it. It's in, uh, my brother has it in Athens. So, um, first order of business, what I wanna do on this bike is I wanna switch this out, the subframe. So this is gonna be a how-to on switching this. I've never done it before, so you guys are gonna come along with me on that ride. What I would like to do as well is to get enough of the bike assembled, which means the, the subframe and the, and the front, so that I could put my body work from Armor Body, thank you Woodcraft, and get it fitted, drilled and everything so I could take those that body work to my friend to get it painted. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tank off. Uh, yeah, hand smelling gas now. It's gonna smell like gas like all day. All right. comes our tank. Now what? What I have here, I have torque set and a huge breaker bar because we're gonna need this. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Normally they're gonna be really tight because they have some lock. The, the manufacturer usually puts some lock tight on there. I'm gonna make my make my life a little easier. It's pretty destroyed. Brand new subframe. Well, it's not new, uh, it's used. All right, simple enough as it is. It's just a matter of just mating this up and screwing it in, I think. Yeah, that's it. Oh! Oh! Ah! 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 Oh, that that hurt. Okay. Subframe is in. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Right now, right now, we're going to do an unboxing of the armor bodies. I haven't even opened it yet. I got it like two weeks ago, maybe, but it's just been sitting there and I'm waiting for this moment. see this it's beautiful yeah so I got the super sport kit from from woodcraft uh, from armor bodies now the super sport kit means that instead of one big piece for the tail I can still put the stock seat on there now I don't have a stock seat instead I have uh, a seat that you know resembles a stock seat but it's hard the reason for that is because in CCS sometimes I have to actually lift my tank in order to show them that I'm running the stock air box. But in any case, I have it so it makes it easier. I don't have to take the whole tail off to roll back my tank and show them my air box. So you have your upper, and what I really like is you can see and feel, and, and Woodcraft, you guys did an excellent job of packaging packaging these. There's a, this is good quality stuff. I mean, like this is solid. They have these holes already, they already have holes kind of, you know, pre-marked for you. While they may not, and, and we'll have to see, but they may not completely line up, but if anything, they'll get you close. Underdraft piece, got a fender, and you got this lower. Yeah, looking really good. All right, let's go ahead and see uh, how much of this we get fitted up. So the tail fits on there seemingly really good. The holes seem to line up. Okay, since the tail seems to be going to be the easiest for us to handle, let's go ahead and start with the tail. All right, so one of the tools we're gonna need to do this fitting, a step fit. This makes it so much easier with bearing. So now it's a matter of getting these holes big enough. And like I said, with a step drill, 
I can go step by step. Nice. Just like that. Now, one thing that I will do is I'm gonna put a washer under there, whether it be metal or whatnot, so that when I twist it, I don't, I don't continue like scratching off paint or whatever on here. And also having a washer will also keep the, like it'll hold the, the bolt better to keep it from backing out as much. So at this point in time, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these holes drilled out. All right, got this, the four holes like uh, drilled out. Tiny bit of a snag. Um, so the, all the holes don't actually line up perfectly. Easy fix. Like I said, we're gonna go a little larger on these. And this, and that should give us the room and leeway to not have to match up perfectly. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. That looks like it'll do. All right. Cool. So now we can get all four bolts in there with little to no resistance. So we're going to try to line up the tail as close as possible. What I'm going to use for the tail section to get this underdraft on there. Yes, I'm gonna use these uh, these Zeus fastener clips. And it's a real simple idea. Goes on like that. Now I have to find where that hole is and drill through it, which I could probably do by turning this around. I'll drill some pilot holes through there, through these, uh, so I know where they are. And then I have to kind of match these up and find out where the holes are. So I'll probably make a mark somewhere on these fairings to know where these where the holes need to be. And then it's just a matter of getting it all together. So basically I'm going through the back of this fastener, trying to center it as best I can. All right, I do like the Zeus fastener clips because you can remove them or move them around to get the right fit. So I marked where each of the, the fasteners are on that one side. And if I can get this lined up. So I'm gonna start with a tiny, tiny drill. And let's see if it lines up. I got an idea. And yeah, it looks like it does. All right. So I decided after going through two holes that I'm going to do them one at a time so that I can fix the point and it won't have, have it move on me when I measure the rest of them. So far so good. Okay, now for the moment of truth on the tail, it's time to get that thing on there. Great. You think it looks great? It, and it's, oh my god, it's, it's so solid. Back yeah. before I crashed and completely ruined my subframe, uh, the back part of my subframe was actually missing from a previous crash. So now that I have a subframe with that piece, and I have like a point fixed on here, oh, this thing is, it's not gonna flap anymore. <laughs> about my flap and tail, no more. Okay, quality, like I said, it's it's a little more rigid than I'm used to, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It does still flex, which gives me reason to believe that in a situation where I crash, it's not going to just shatter into a million pieces. I think it's actually pretty decent, so we'll call it pretty good. This thing is on there, and is on there solidly. And it, and if any, it, it looks like it fits. Uh, now we're gonna try to get this upper on there. A tool that anybody that works in the garage should have is a Dremel. What we're doing here is with the Woodcraft slider, I need to replace the plug, but with the Woodcraft slider that's there, it's actually keeping this part from sitting correctly on there. So I have to actually shave off a section here. Turn this on and just start shaving off. You should be wearing a respirator, dude. You can smell the fire glass? Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about smelling it, I'm worried about getting it in my lungs. Okay, so that's, that's the upper. I'm just kidding, crap. 
So one thing I forgot is these, these brackets or these V brackets that they call them. I did not see that they were taped on the side of the box, of that box. So in any case, these will help hold this thing up, you know, without the windscreen and everything else. So, so pretty simple install procedure and include the hardware, nice bolts here, uh, nice bolts for the outside. And all I gotta do is mark it. Hopefully I can see that. Yeah, right there. I could mark the fairings here, take the brackets off, measure them, and then drill a precise hole to do it. We could go ahead and mount the lower fairing and we could call it a night after that. So yeah, this side doesn't need that much modification. I need to just kind of grind this off to match up. But the other side needs a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a bow to, to meet up with the frame slider or to make room for the frame slider on that side. So you can see on this side, yeah. And need to set up a little bit of that out right there. So now that uh, we got like the pieces sanded down so they'll fit. Oh, we gotta take the upper off so we can match up the lower and up, uh, upper and lower together and put the fasteners together. Okay, I'm thinking all we need is really two fasteners on each side. I've seen people do three. I'm not sure if it's absolutely necessary. like a bike again right it's solid on there I mean like it feels feels good overall these fairings have been uh, they're high quality they, they actually fit really close and I highly recommend them because they are a cheaper alternative to the ones that I was previous using which were the shark skins great uh, shark skins are great uh, but they're really expensive and these are you know uh, you know like a fraction of the cost but you still get top-of-notch quality I'm gonna go ahead and leave you here. I got two weeks till the first race. I know I'm cutting close, but two weeks till the first race, and I'm going to hopefully try to make it. So, in any case, uh, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. I mean, you could be wearing gloves and a respirator and goggles. Could be. Should be. <laughs>